Hi, this is Ned from Magic of Wheels. Today, I have a very interesting watch. Titani Air Master. Well, what more interesting is the story behind the watch? I received a message from a guy who wanted me to service his watch. And he stunts me that he is the third generation holding this watch. The watch was first owned by his granddad. And it was passed down to his dad. And now he is the third generation holding this watch. His only wishes is to pass this down to his son. Only if I can make it look good and runs in good health again. I'll do my best. I'm not a professional. I'm a hobbyist. We'll have a good look at the condition first. You can see a lot of scratches on the crystal. Tony Airmaster. Let's give it a wind and I cannot wind. It's quite stiff and difficult. Okay, and um, I can feel it pretty loose. The date changes around 11:34. Let's see the quick set. Oh, it's um, very, very loose. The crown sleeve is missing. Very impressive, considering this is the third generation keeping this watch. But you can tell the health of the watch is not good. The amplitude is very, very low. This is not really sealed properly. I can just screw the back off very easily. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know what is that. Look at that. I think this is the kind of rust and it's not held very properly. The gasket really worn out. The case here is chipped and the gasket worn out and I guess that's how the moisture comes in. You see the stem? It's not straight. And of course, missing of crown sleeve. I will take off the case clamp, which is held by these two screws. And that is not a case clamp. This is not a case clamp fit for this one. The crystal, I can just push it out from the back. Um, we'll see later what we can do about this. Okay, let's take the hands off.
I'll take off the owl wheel first. Canon pinion just come up. I'm gonna take off the calendar work and the motion work on the dial side. And um, the minute wheel just come up together with the cover plate. That's the minute wheel that stick together with the cover plate. The spring for the calendar yoke. I just need to release the tension. I guess this wheel is a part of the Canon pinion. Calendar driving wheel. And that's the setting wheel and the corrector wheel. Let's work on the motion work side. I'm taking off the automatic mechanism. Reduction wheel and um, ratchet wheel driving wheel Reversing wheel and auxiliary reversing wheel Next I'm gonna take off the balance Now I'm gonna take off the uh, power and I can do that by holding down the click. So now it's safe to remove the pallet fork. Next I'm gonna take off the ratchet wheel and the crown wheel. And um, the crown wheel is fit with reverse threaded screw. For the click and click spring, I need to push this lock to remove the click and click spring. the click spring now I'm going to remove the barrel bridge so I'm going to take off the train wheel bridge Here is the fourth wheel, the third wheel, the second wheel, so I'm gonna remove the keyless work, setting lever spring.
the setting lever uh, release the yoke spring tension the yoke and the operating lever now I can take off the sliding pinion and the winding pinion Next I'm gonna remove the end stone from the dial side You can see how dirty it is And I am removing the end stone from the balance complete Very, very dirty. Let's check the other two holes. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is pretty sad. This is the end stone. Look at that. While we are waiting for the parts to be cleaned in the cleaning machine, um, I will clean the balance and palette fork in this one dip solution. And I want to show you something. This is really, really crazy. So you see this mark, right? This is um, where the solution was last time. And this is only two weeks. Look how fast this thing evaporates. And this is kept in quite seal tight. So um before we start reassemble, let's check the cleanliness of the two holes. That's great. Nice. I'm gonna treat the reversing wheel and auxiliary reversing wheel with V105. This is a dipping lubricant. Another dipping lubricant, this is for ball bearing, for oscillating weight. Let's dip the bearing in. Now time for ethylene.
and for the palette fork um, I just lubricate the exit dew only and that's how I do it this mainspring is spotlessly clean so we're gonna lubricate it so this is Mobius 8200 Each side of the groove needs to be lubricated. Once I transfer the mainspring into the barrel, Let's start reassemble. Okay, I just realized that I made a mistake actually. I need to finish the fourth wheel first before I install the ratchet wheel.
um, look what I just found. The hairspring is not really in the center. Um, in between the two stud. I think that's better. So I spent quite some time adjusting the rate, the bead error, and that's the best figure I can get. Now let's work on the automatic mechanism, auxiliary reversing wheel. And the reversing wheel. Ratchet wheel driving wheel. I lubricated the stud with HP 1300 or Mobius 9104. The reduction wheel will go just right there. Just wind up to make sure all the gears engage. Next is the calendar work and the motion work. This is the cannon pinion and that wheel is friction fit to the cannon pinion and it had fallen off. That's why when I set the time, I feel quite loose. So that's how it should be fit. The minute wheel. So and this is the 9504 and this is where the correcting wheels
before I install the dial, let's um, give it a clean. Let's see what we can do about these hands. Okay, so that's how I finish it off. For the crown sleeve, luckily I've got one in my vintage basket, so I'm gonna use that. For the case I have clean in ultrasonic cleaning and also give it a polish so it um, looks presentable and of course the crystal so um, I just need to install the crystal and we do the casing And uh, final cleaning for the crystal. Let's check the performance. Quick set date change. And we check the day change at midnight and trust me, it's very difficult to get precision out of vintage watches. There you go. We'll try it one more time. See?
Secure the movement with the case clamp. We need a proper case clamp on this side. That should secure better. And here is the Loctite. For the tip, I'm using HP 1300. And the rest is 9504. and the new back case gasket and back case I have already polished this too that saw me servicing Titoni Airmaster thank you for watching when passion and hobby collide I'm Ned from Magic of Wheels